In society today, more and more emphasis is being put on energy efficiency and lowering our power consumption. The first step to lowering our power consumption is to know how much power we're currently using. That's where this BIDAC project comes in. With the My Power Monitoring Attachment and the National Instruments MIDAC, students can log power consumption and energy usage from domestic appliances on their computer, as well as learn the important theory behind electrical power. Students are taken through a simple tutorial style program which first teaches them how to configure their MIDAC before testing it and then moving on to the theory behind electrical power. Once the theory has been learned, some real world data can be gathered from an appliance to put that theory into practice. Perhaps you've wondered how much energy a kettle uses while it's on in the morning, or how much energy a fridge consumes during 24 hours. Using the pre-built data logger VI, students can straight away log power data from their appliances. After a simple configuration, the power logger will start to run and log power through the My Power Monitoring attachment and the MyDAC. As the device is turned on, you'll see the energy consumption increase, and when it turns off, you'll see it flatline. Once students have learned the theory behind electrical power, they can then build up a power data logger from the provided template. The template is found in the Project Explorer window in the template file. The template introduces the idea of the state machine architecture, as well as the idea of acquire, analyse and present, which is something that all measurement and control systems contain. Utilising the MIDAX2 analogue input channels, we're able to represent the voltage and current being drawn by the appliance with two lower voltage signals that the MIDAC can read in. A simple circuit has been constructed that uses a current transformer and a voltage transformer to produce these signals. This circuitry, together with the pre-built electrical power toolkit available from NI.com, allows us to extract the power and energy data from our signals. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. All the information needed to build this project can be found at the link that pops up at the end of this video.